Hey there guys and welcome back to Pokemon Soul Silver. As you can see, I am currently trading because as you may remember in the previous episode we acquired the King's Rock so we can finally evolve Slowpoke into Slowking so that he doesn't suck so much anymore. And there he is, our Slowking. I traded him for a Snorlax with my, I think my Platinum game or something, I don't really remember. But whatever, we have a Slowking now and he's hopefully going to be a lot better than Slowpoke is. There we go. I'm still not entirely sure where he gets that weird collar thing from. I mean, Slow Bro is basically just a Slowpoke on two legs with that weird shell thing on his tail. Slow King is basically the same, but with the shell on his head and he gets this weird frill thing from somewhere. Anyway, let's just back out of the trade. You can get a nice little uh, look at our trusty Firo here. Wait, is my Platinum game a bald guy? Wow, oh, that's, uh... I thought you could choose your own trainer class, I can't imagine choosing that one. Oh well. Whatever, I had to turn my other 3DS off. And let's take a good look at Slowking, shall we? Put him up front, see, now he's walking behind me, he's so happy. Yep, he's very happy. Stretch out his body and is relaxing. Well, I guess finally being able to walk on two legs would make anyone happy. Look, you are now king of all these slowpokes in this town. Ooh, uh, I'm gonna pick this up. Silk Scarf. Well, I guess that beats some of those type weakening berries that I'm never ever gonna use. Uh, actually, I think I can give that to Pinsir. That ought to power up his strength real good. There we go. Alright, that was a... Oh, and we might as well put the Quick Claw back on Slow King because I had to take that off for the King's Rock earlier. Alright, team's back in business. Now, we are still one Pokemon short. And also, I'm going to take a little detour to get back on the path, show some other stuff. And I'm going to buy some repels to do that because... Honestly, if I do that while running into wild Pokemon over and over again, it's going to take five bloody episodes to get done, probably. See, what I'm going to do is, now that we can surf, go... Oh, actually, might as well pick these Apricorns up while we're here. A pink one, which makes the Love Ball, which is probably one of the least useful Pokeballs ever. And the black one, which makes the Heavy Ball, which is... Pretty useful, actually. The heavier the Pokemon you're trying to catch is, the more effective it'll be. So, if you're trying to catch... Well, there, there aren't really many really heavy Pokemon that you can find in the wild. Because most super heavy Pokemon are fully evolved, and you can't find a lot of fully evolved Pokemon in the wild. But there are Pokemon, I guess, like maybe Rhyhorn or Graveler or Gyarados, which are pretty heavy, so a heavy ball might come in handy against those. Look, it's Quagsire, the evolved from a Wooper and one of the most derpy Pokemon ever. Oh crap, I forgot Slowking is still, true to his name, really slow, so he's not going to be very good at running away from stuff. Amnesia, sure, go ahead. I don't care. Let me just slam. I never really... Like, has anyone ever bothered to put Slam on anything? It is such a terrible move. I mean, sure, power-wise, it's a decent mid-game normal move, I guess, but why is it... I think it's like 80% accurate or something? That's just terrible. Anyway, here's a guy. Let's go battle him. He wants to be left alone with his Pokémon. And his crazy green costume. Ooh, Marowak! Um, I'm not sure, but I think that's an underleveled Marowak. Anyway, I'm gonna U-turn out of here. Because I don't think Firo is the best choice for fighting this thing. Uh, let's see. Let's give Slowking a go, shall we? His debut battle. Focus energy, sure, go ahead. Now the question is, am I faster? Well, thanks to the Quick Claw, you can just avoid that question altogether. Go Surf, that is pretty sure that's gonna KO it. Because Slow King's special attack, I'm pretty sure it's more than double of what Slow Poke's special attack was. So he's he, he really is a lot more powerful now. 
And then another Marowak, because screw variety. And it's also even the same gender. It probably has the exact same moves, nature, IVs, EVs, whatever. I don't even know if AI trainers Pokemon have, like, natures and IVs and EVs and all that stuff. But whatever. Marowak down. Lots of good experience. Slowking level 22. And those creepy eyes on the back of his shell are looking right at your soul. That reminds me of that, uh, that Dex entry about Shedinja. Where it says that if anyone looks into the black hole on, the ba on its back, it will drain out your soul or something. And guess what you're looking at if you're using a Shedinja in battle? It's back. So, Shedinja would steal your soul if you were training one. Probably. I don't know, maybe it can control it, like maybe it can choose not to steal its trainer's soul. But it's an interesting little tidbit. Another one of those Pokedex entries that are horribly, horribly screwed up, if you think about it. Anyway, Kangaskhan. That's another pretty rare and powerful Pokemon, and I don't know why, but these guys are really overleveled compared to mine. Mega Punch, oh boy. Damn. Pinsir is the physically bulkiest Pokemon I have, and even he's too wet KO'd by that. Or she, I should say. It's just, I have the tendency to always refer to my Pokemon as male, no matter what gender they may have. Okay, Magmar then. See if maybe we can get some Flame Body in here, or maybe a Lucky Burn with Fire Blast. I'm surprised Magmar is faster though, because Kangaskhan is four levels higher, and I'm pretty sure their speeds are about equal. Neither one is particularly fast. But Magmar, I think, might actually be the faster one, now that I think about it. Another Fire Blast, is that gonna kill? Come on, come on, come on. Nice. Oh, Magmar is gonna be swimming in experience from this one if he didn't have to share it with freaking Firo. Mirror move. Uh, well, it's situational, but situational is still better than downright useless like Fury Attack. So welcome to the team, Mirror Move. That can be pretty handy if you like switch Firo in on a, on a Golem's Earthquake and then Mirror Move the Earthquake to hit the Golem super effectively. And then probably still not KO it and get wrecked by Stone Edge or something. It's probably how that goes down, but at least it's better than nothing. Anyway, let's go surfing. There's... Oh, Repel War off. Gotta activate a new one. Because not running into any wild Pokemon is really comforting for some reason. Makes me really feel really good that I can just continue exploring without being interrupted every five steps. Why didn't I do this earlier? Anyway, back on Slowking. Go, go, Slowking, surf. Because there's a couple more trainers in here that we can beat. And I think probably also like a TM and maybe some other decent items to find in here. And overall just showing stuff off. Okay, that chick up there. What are you doing here underneath the mountain? I'm in training. Ah, one of those like uh, reclusive people. Like in exiles from... Ooh, four Pokemon. Eevee. Level 26. Okay, shouldn't be much of a problem. It's only an Eevee. It might have adaptability, which makes it a bit more of a problem. But still, it's only an Eevee. Growl. Well, I think that does mean Aerial Ace isn't gonna kill now. But... Oh, quick attack. Sure, go ahead. It's a weak move. Oh, damn. Okay, that thing definitely has adaptability. And, uh, yep, as I expected. Another quick attack. Well, at least he didn't go for Flail. Although there's no way in hell that Eevee would have outsped Firo. Firo is fast as hell. And now we get the critical hit, of course. Figures. Jolteon, okay, so I'm guessing the other two are gonna be Vaporeon and Flareon then. And now we have a problem because Pinsir's down, Magmar is really weak, and Croconaw, Sloking, and Firo are all weak to electric. So this is not going to go well if I don't deal with this Jolteon. Here we go, heal up Magmar real quick. Please don't go for a powerful move. Pretty please, he's go for Tackle or something. Thundershock, okay, that's not a very powerful move. Nice. Okay, now, oh, of course he's faster. It's a Jolteon, one of the fastest Pokemon there is. Damn it, Magmar. Now is not the time to, oh, we get a rare switch from the AI, oh crap. Here comes a Flash Fire Boost. And of course, now Fire Blast hits. 
Bloody hell, okay, Magmar, get out of there. Crock and all, this one's all yours. Quick attack. Yeah. Flareon's attack is pretty good, but quick attack's still not gonna do much. Okay, Surf, let's go. Two hit KO, I'm guessing. Yeah, that's about what I expected. Ember. And that's coming from Flareon's awful special attack, so that is not gonna do a damn thing. And Headbutt. Is that gonna take him out? Yes, it is. Way to go, Croconaw. I, I didn't. I'm not really using Croconaw all that much recently, but he's still not that disappointing compared to the rest of the team. Okay, here comes Jolteon again. Magmar, you're once again my only hope. Or Firo. I'm not really sure why I'm going with Firo here. Uh, okay, let's uh, see. Probably gonna go for a U turn then. But he's not gonna live that thunder shock. That is most unfortunate. I honestly don't remember what the hell I was thinking here. That was just downright dumb. Okay, Magmar, don't miss. Seriously. I probably don't have much Fire Blast PP remaining anyway, and at least he gets the hit in this time. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, I don't think Ember is gonna. Oh, switch again. Bring Vaporeon in. Well, at least it's not gonna completely negate the damage. Burn, please. No burn. Figures. Okay, I'm not keeping Magmar in against this because Faint Attack isn't gonna do a damn thing to Vaporeon, so Croc and all. Water Gun, yeah, that's gonna do nothing. No problem. Alright, let's see if I can maybe just flinch it to death. That would be really nice. There we go, that's one. Can we make it happen? That would be awesome. Come on, game. Nope, well, at least he's not really doing much to me in return, so I'll let it slide. Come on, headbutt number three. Can we get a flinch? Yes, okay, I don't think this one's quite gonna do it, but you never know. Of course. Nice! And now for the final one, Ice Fang. Because why the hell not? He's not gonna survive that anyway. That's going to be pretty good experience for Croconaw again. Level 25 indeed. Is he going to get a new move already, or... I don't even remember when he last tried to learn a new move. But we still have that damn Jolteon to deal with. Uh, Paris, of course. I'm not really sure what I'm hoping for here. Maybe he'll go for a physical move, activate Effect Spore. That would be pretty nice. Also, I can heal up Magmar now, so that's also a pretty good thing to do. Quick attack, yes, go on, Effect Spore. Make my... yes, there we go, that is just what I needed. Alright, Magmar, come on in, mop it up. Let's take this baby home. Or Slowking. Also works. I mean, he's asleep, he's not likely to wake up, so Slowking can definitely take him out now. Go, go, Surf. There we go, your electric type just got defeated by my water type. Pretty embarrassing. Also, a really good experience for Slowking. Damn. Oh, no, you're too good for me. Well, I'll admit you almost had me. Almost, not quite. Oh, bloody hell. I thought I used a Repel. Level 20. No, oh, of course. Repel only keeps away the Pokemon that are at a lower level than the Pokemon that's currently in the front of your party. So because Slowking's level 22, I can still run into level 22 Pokemon like this bastard Eradicate. And because Slowking is slow as hell, he's not gonna let me run away from him. There we go. Shame Slowking took a little damage there, but what are you gonna do? So gonna put someone else up front who is a higher level, so that's probably Croconaw. There we go, Croconaw, taking him for a walk. My oldest buddy. And time to renew the repel. Ah, if only they had... They put in that auto-renew repel feature that they added in. I think black and white? That was so handy. Okay, another check. If the Pokemon like were there, I'd go anywhere. That's what the trainer does. Well, I suppose so. If you want that Pokemon, you will have to go to where that Pokemon can be caught. Just one Poliwhirl. Shouldn't be much of a problem. I mean, Poliwhirl... Oh, crap. Calling the Paralysis. Oh, no Paralysis yet. But I don't think I can... Oh, damn, that headbutt did not do 
as much as I expected. Yep. Oh boy. Uh, who do I still have left? I still have Slowking and Magmar. So this is not gonna go well. Rain. Okay, that nice. That's a wasted turn for him. Yawn. Come on, put him to sleep. It's pretty much my only chance here because Surf. He probably has Water Absorb, so that's not gonna do anything. Confusion. That's kind of weak. Fire Blast is an obvious no-no. Ah, -no. Uh, there we go. Well, that's gonna screw me over. Especially if I don't actually get to attack. At least he falls asleep now. Let's hope he doesn't wake up too soon. Probably have something to get rid of this paralysis with. There we go, Paralyze Heal. With its awkward spelling. Fast asleep, okay, that's good. Let's keep it up. Confusion is not gonna... It's probably gonna two-hit KO at this point, but I'll take it. Nice. Come on, Slow King. Critical hit would be pretty nice. Or a confusion. Oh, damn, that's not even a two-hit KO. Yikes. Oh, crap. Oh, no. Problem. Damn it. Well, last Pokemon, Magmar. Whose best option at this point is Feint Attack, which is not going to get rid of the remainder of that HP. And if he has a decently powered water move, I think Rain Dance is still up. He can totally take me. Oh, oh, it wasn't up. Well, he's probably going to kill me now, and Feint Attack is still not going to kill that thing. I think this is where it ends. If this was a Nuzlocke thingamajiggy, which it isn't, thank goodness, because I bloody hate those. Uh, yeah, that's gonna kill Magmar. Rain Dance boosted Bubble Beam. Well, all the Pokemon are down. Uh, well, at least it's not the first time this happened in the LP. Remember the first gym? That cheap Pidgeotto? But oh well, we pretty much did all there was to do in there anyway. So in the next episode, we'll start making our way towards gym number 5, I suppose. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.